Hello everyone, Tweakmaster3000 here. Today I'll be showing you guys my top 15 favorite, cool, best, awesome, whatever you want to call it, iOS 5 compatible tweaks. Now this will include notification center tweaks. As of this first one, this first one is called App Center. App Center lets you launch apps from your notification center. Um, I think it's a pretty cool tweak just to have in handy if you're just accidentally like that or something, I don't know, and you just want to find out, I don't know, it does work though, let's do Fruit Ninja, put some booze and here you are. Alrighty, um, there are options, so let's go on to settings and you scroll down App Sensor. Now you can have all apps, so if I take all apps off, it will have no apps unless I choose specific apps, so let's just go like that. And um, so now once we go down, you'll see that there's those four there. I just prefer to have all apps, just makes it easier. You get, um, you can have about five or four apps per page, you can sort them in alphabetical order or something like that. Um, you can have paging, and so paging just like, you got pages, which I think is a little bit annoying, in my opinion. You can have an option to hide your labels, so there's no icon labels, so I just, I think it's much, much more neater. You can also have show indicator on or off, which is the bottom thing that normally goes across. Um, but yeah, so that was that tweak. This next tweak is called Barrel. Barrel, um, you probably, you guys probably heard it in the past. Basically, it lets you do cool effects when sliding from page to page. So my favorite one is Icon Scatter. So when I go to the next page, as you can see, it does that nice transition or effect going across. Now there are some more that I'll show you here. We got cube inside, outside, page slide up, page slide down, curl and roll away, curl and roll away, alternate, vertical scrolling, page fade. This one is um, an okay one. I don't mind it. Basically, just like fades like that. Oh, I, don't, I think it's a pretty good one anyway. Um, icon scatter, icon collection, page squeeze, get stairs down, left and right. Carousel, Flippy, Page, Zoom, Pac-Man, and Merry-Go-Round. Merry-Go-Round is the newer one, which does that. So, just in my opinion, my favorite is Icon Scout. All right, my next one is Color Keyboard. Color Keyboard, you guys have probably heard of also, but this is iOS 5 compatible. So, my current theme at the moment is Silver MacBook. And my pop-up key is also Silver MacBook. I just think it goes together really well. You can also have certain backgrounds. You can enable custom backgrounds. Here you can have portrait background. You can add images. Or you can have custom BGs for alert. Border radius is how big. So let's just have a look. I'll show you here. So you can see we've got that nice, really neat keyboard. Um, perfectly designed and everything. Um, so that was Color Keyboard. This next one is called Side Elite. If you go into Settings and you download it, Side Elite. It protects CD automatically, so you don't delete it by accident. But what it does is say, I want to delete Winterboard. As you can see, it does have that X there and I can delete it. So if I go into my CD folder and I can delete Terminal, iFile, Activator, SB Settings, FS, White, Cache, or whatever, and Power Center. It just removes the package, which I think is really neat, instead of going into CDR, finding a package, and then deleting it. Anyway, that was side elite. My next one is Gridlock. Gridlock lets you um, put your icons anywhere on the screen, like this, or, you know, I can have it whatever, however I want. Um, so, yeah, there's no, there's no options to configure with this tweak. Uh, my next one is Iconoclasm. If we go into settings and we go down to Iconoclasm, as you can see here, you can have certain layouts. So the normal one is 4x4. But then when you install it, the 
default one you get is five coal and SB. So basically, you ba you can um, customize how many rows and icons you have. So I can have up to five rows, as you can see right there, five icons, sorry, and four rows, which is pretty cool. Twist um, iOS five compatible. This next week is or well, this is actually an app. It is iFile. You guys probably heard of it. I use it a lot. But um, basically, iFile is just everything your iPod is. So like any all your data and stuff. Like I'm going to stash. I'm go here are all my city of themes that I purchased. Um, Spool, MDT, the nothing in there. But yeah, it just gives you any access to all your files and you can edit stuff from there. Alrighty, my next week is Infinity Doc. So you guys probably know what it is and the name itself is self-explanatory um, but Infinity Dot lets you have inf almost, or well, actually it lets you have infinite uh, icons on your dock so you can have how many icons you want on your dock so like, I prefer five, though I only have four you can have start from page disabled or one to ten you can have scrolling, paging or scrolling snap so if I want to put this game in here put it in there, I want to put Winterboard in there as you can see, um, I just scroll to it like that. Pretty cool tweak. Definitely worth checking out. So let's just put it back here and um, yeah. So my next tweak I will be showing you guys. It is called iSlide Text. iSlide Text is just an easy way to customize that the text on there. So what you do is when you see the text, double tap it. What it'll do is it sort of unlock it, and as you can see, I slide text. Change the text below, leave empty to reset. So as you can see, I have slide, God damn it. Um, I can put an exclamation mark, click apply, and as you can see here, slide, God damn it, with an exclamation mark. Alright, my next week is Omnistat for Notification Center. Now, Omnistat basically shows all the information you need to know about your iPod or iPhone or whatever. So, hang on. Alrighty. So, as you can see here, we have Lachlan's iPod. Um, you can see the model, iPod Touch. Um, you can see OS 5.0. The build is 9A334. Storage, free, and use. This option here. Um, AeroPlay mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and location. This kills kill all background apps. Spring, respring, reboot, and shut down. Um, this option here: Twitter, Facebook, and donate. Here it shows all your processes down here. Um, if you want to mess with that, I couldn't care less. But um, yeah, it also shows your UDID there. Then we have your free RAM. So if I tap free, as you can see, I don't have that much free RAM. But as you can see, now I have more. Um, but yeah, so that's a cool tweet. Um, definitely worth checking out. So the next, oh, here we are, sorry. And as the last page shows Wi Fi, your name, dot local, network, Mac number, cell IP, and battery percentage. Um, alrighty. Now my next tweak is called Power Center Pro. Um, this might be a replacement for SB settings, I don't know. But um, here we are, Power Center. Basically, there's all the options that you get on here and more. So, let's go down here, and as you can see right there, it shows how much free RAM I have, uh, my network, my IP, data IP, capacity, um, um, how much free capacity, and then how much free gigs and um, how much, whatever that is. Also shows battery. Now here this is, um, you can lock your device. This one is respring. So touch that. Safe mode, this one is in the middle here. This next one is, um, oh, this one here is power off. And this one here is reboot. This one here is aeroplane mode. So when you touch it, you can en enable it if you want this data, I don't know what that is. But Bluetooth option, location, here are location services, and Wi-Fi. You can slide across once more. You can change your volume, brightness. I don't know what that does. You can share this tweet, and there are settings. 
So there is an actual app for it. I'm not going to go through it. But when you download it, there is a specific app for it. All right. My next week will be my number one favorite of all time, SB Settings. So SB Settings is integrated into iOS 5 Notification Center. So as you can see, it basically gives you your normal toggles. And, um, yeah, it's just super quick changing all your toggles instead of going into settings. All right. Um, next week is um, Status Google. This is a notification center tweak. Status Google lets you search. As you can see, search here, it lets you search um, anything from Google. So I want to search YouTube. Once I've done that, I click return. And it will open up Safari and it will Google it. Alrighty. My next week has to be my second favourite. This is Winterboard. So Winterboard has been updated to support iOS 5. So basically there are themes. Um, most don't work. But all I know is this one I purchased earlier today, Black Ops HD for iOS 5. So as you can see, we've got all the Black Ops stuff here. And you can get heaps of Wi-Fi notification center themes. Um, after hours doesn't work. Atomic low sort of works. That one does not work. But um, yeah, pretty cool um thing. It's been updated and yeah. My next week is Zoom is back. So let's go into camera. Wherever I put it. Here's the camera. And so what I'm going to do now. Is when it opens, just double tap, and as you can see, we've got that zoom. And zoom in and out. I can also pinch the screen. Hang on a second. There, I can pinch and um, do that to zoom in and out. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Subscribe right here or up at the top there for more awesome videos. Like the video over down that way, and you can also favorite it. Um, so, yeah. So, again, make sure to subscribe at the top. Comment down below for any questions or anything. All these tweets will be in the description below and were shown in the video. So, again, thank you for watching. Um, see you guys next time. Tweet Master 3000. Peace.